Hey everybody, happy new year. I am back for the first live of the year and it's Wednesday afternoon. I didn't schedule this one out, or actually it's Thursday afternoon, sorry. Oh my gosh, um, the week has flown by. I didn't schedule this one out. I have um, been a little under the weather and so I wasn't sure and tomorrow I actually have a VIP coaching client for the most of the day so I won't be able to come in tomorrow so I thought I would just do a real quick live now um, because this week on the podcast um, which the podcast has a new name new logo new everything um, I'll be sharing that here later but um, we're now the Robin Graham show instead of the second base podcast in case you're searching for us but I um, aired an episode this week with an interview with Tanya Dalton, author of On Purpose. And we talked all about purpose and how living with our purpose can also help us discover more joy. So I wanted to come in and just give you guys a little, I guess, training, tutorial, whatever, um, related to the podcast episode. You've all heard me talk a little bit about um, my purpose equation and that equation is your values plus your visions plus your passions equal your purpose and if you do the exercise you can make a list of your values visions and passions and somewhere kind of like a Venn diagram they're going to overlap and where they overlap is where you can start focusing your efforts to really fine-tune that level of clarity you have around your purpose that purpose your godlike calling whatever you want to call it but that purpose um, is very important to identify and have clarity around for everything that you do going forward in your business. It really does become part of the foundation so that you can build on the foundation from there. When you have clear a clear purpose and you know specifically what it is that you're being called to do and who you're being called to serve, it makes everything so much easier. It makes it easier to create clear content, clear messaging, to resonate with your ideal audience. It makes it easier for you to define who that audience is because you now know the, the solution that you can provide we know that people don't buy people or products. People buy solutions for the problems, challenges, issues that they have. So whatever your purpose is, it is providing a solution to someone else. I fully believe that when God puts something on our hearts, that's his way of saying, okay, I'm giving you this idea. Now it's time to act on this. Now it's time to actually take action in, in take this on as your purpose and do something with it. And at the same time, someone else out there has this notion weighing on their heart saying, you need this. This is what's gonna solve your problem. This is the problem you have, this is the solution you need. And the two come together and you form that bond where you're able to give the solution to the person that is in need. So that's just how I look at it. But when we, when we look at trying to define what that purpose is, and when I talk about looking at your values, your visions, and your passions, your values become really so important with every single thing that you do throughout your life and your business. Because when your value, you are aligned with your values, when you are doing everything based on that alignment, you keep everything in check. Everything will flow much easier. Everything will be more positive. You won't get as frustrated. When you are working with people that are not in alignment with your values, you tend to get more frustrated. And, and why is that? It's because you're not forming that bond based on values that kind of puts everybody on an even playing field. You know, if if honesty and integrity is, is or a couple of your values and you're working with someone who isn't being honest with themselves, isn't being honest with you, isn't being honest with their clients or or the tools about the tools they're using or about their finances or whatever, it's going to be really hard to connect with them on a deep level and to trust them. And that's kind of an extreme example, but it's a good example to show that you have to have alignment with values so that number one, you stay on track and you continue to be fueled and you continue to be able to work in your purpose and on your purpose and live with purpose according to those values. 
so that you don't get sidetracked and become frustrated, become overwhelmed, or because when we're not aligned with our values and where we are from a heart-centered perspective, that energy within us becomes negative and then we're not effective and we end up slowing our progress or delaying our progress with our business or just life in general. Your visions are those things, you know, who do you see yourself working with? What do you see yourself doing? What problem do you see yourself solving? I like to go back to when I was a little girl, I loved to, to play teacher. Um, yep, I was bossy. But, um, you know, my sisters, neighbor girls, whatever, everybody would sit in these little desks that my father had purchased from in auctions or school closures or whatever. I don't even know. But we had um, desks and little chairs and things like that. And we would set up everything like a, like a classroom. And I was always a teacher and I loved being the teacher. I, to this day, love to teach. And that's what I do with my, with my coaching clients is I teach them. I teach them how to, how to create a personal brand, how to, how to really develop good brand marketing strategies that are going to last, um, build that foundation, um, you know, search engine optimization, copywriting, all of those things that social media, how to create impactful content, all those things that are going to help take a purpose into full action to be able to, to do the purpose in a way that is going to reach the people that need, need the service, the solution, um, the problem solving. So what do you envision yourself doing, being, what is that? And then your passions, what lights you up? What fuels you? What gets you so excited? What gives you butterflies in your stomach when you think about it? And when we look at all three of those things, there's going to be overlap, and those over that overlap is where your purchase your your purpose is. Sometimes, as we go through life, we lose a sense of purpose. Um, as moms, especially, we get inundated with the day to day of parenting, the housework, the grocery shopping, the bill paying, plus working on top of that, and there are so many distractions. And sometimes we lose sight of what our purpose is. And sometimes when we go back to look at our values, visions, and passions, we're thinking, well, what am I even passionate about? I don't feel like I'm passionate about anything. All I do is laundry or cook or clean or drive carpool or cheer on my kids. Like I've been lost in all this shuffle. If that is the case, go back to your childhood. Like I said, you know, when I look back at my childhood and what it was, I really liked how what I envisioned myself doing. It was always teaching. There was always a teaching component to whatever it was. And I'm still passionate to this day about teaching, about learning, about teaching, about guiding, about supporting, about making an impact, but in a way that comes from a place of service. So what is that, that passion that you used to have? Go back to your childhood. In the podcast episode today, um, episode 150, Tanya gave the example of, you know, maybe in high school you were a softball player and you were passionate about it. Well, okay, as a middle-aged woman, you may not want to go play softball, but what about softball fueled you? Was it the team environment? Was it being outside? Was it the athleticism? Was it the training? Was it... Um, you know, the, the fan base. What, what was it about that that really made you feel that passion that lit you up? Because that is something you can translate into your activities and the things that you do going forward today. So bring those, the, those passions, bring that passion back into your life today um, simply by doing that exercise of looking back through your life of, at those things that really did light you up, that fueled you, excited you. The other thing that you can do is if you think of life as, um, you know, you're going through life and you have all these experiences, everything's being tossed in your backpack because you can't carry it all. So you have this backpack and the backpack is with you every step of your journey and every single activity, every single experience that you have gets thrown into that backpack, the good, the bad, the ugly, the happy, the, the cheerful, whatever tap into that backpack. It's time to open it up and it's time to unpack it. Let's look at every single one of those experiences that you have had to date 
and let's correlate those to your values, your visions, and your passions. Let's correlate those to those passions that you've forgotten you had. And let's look at what all of those experiences have led you to become and that purpose that they have led you to be able to fulfill. The other thing about when you know your purpose, you are going to have so much more clarity around your goal setting. When you have a clear purpose, you have unique goals for you and unique goals for your purpose. And that's really important to remember because especially in light of the fact that we have so many distractions on social media, we have so many opportunities to go down that comparison rabbit hole where we're looking at people and we're thinking, I should be doing that. Well, she's doing that that way and we do similar things, so I guess I should be doing that that way too. No, absolutely not, never ever. When you have a purpose and you have a clear idea of what that purpose is, your goals should be established based on your own unique self your own unique purpose, nothing else matters. So when you have a clear purpose, everything becomes more clear. Who your ideal audience is becomes more clear. Your messaging becomes more clear. Any content that you put out becomes more clear for both you and your audience. And the more clear you are with your purpose, the more confidence you're gonna have and the less distractions you're going to experience with being with comparing yourself to other people online or just even in networking events, whatever. Uh, but most of us are primarily online now. So I say online, but this episode was so inspiring. I really, really enjoyed the conversation with Tanya. And I, I suggest that you listen, of course, because I think that you would enjoy it. I will put the link um, below so that you can just click the link and go to listen straight away if you're interested. Or you can go to my website and you can actually read the complete blog post that summarizes the episode. Um, the one thing that, you know, when I talk about your values and aligning your values to make sure that when you're identifying your purpose as well as when you're actually living with purpose and living in that purpose and living on purpose, uh, aligning those values is so important. And the one fabulous thing that Tanya told us about during this interview that you may find um, or feel curiosity towards is that social media is not in line with her and her business and her purpose. And so she is removing herself from Instagram and Facebook. And I thought that was an absolutely brilliant, amazing, bold move. And she talks about how she's doing that, why she's doing it. And you may find some inspiration there. Uh, and if you are um, at a place where you are not feeling aligned with your values, I want to give you the courage. I want to encourage you and, and hold you accountable for taking a step back and removing yourself from whatever that is that is not aligned with your values. Maybe it is certain clients you're working with. Maybe it is social media platforms. Maybe it is um, a tool you're using and something you learned about that tool or the owners of that tool or whatever the case may be. Maybe it's just a process within your business that doesn't feel aligned anymore. Whatever those things are that are distracting you, that are removing you from the sole purpose, sole focus of your purpose, step away from those things. And what's going to happen is you're going to start to discover more joy. You're going to feel like you're going to feel less of a need to compare yourself and you're going to feel less of a need to do things that aren't fueling you, aren't moving the needle forward on your business and aren't serving your clients. So don't hesitate to remove those items that are not aligned with you anymore. Everybody changes, we all change over time. And once you discover true clarity around your purpose, you may start to see that there are certain things that just aren't aligned and you really want to hold tightly to your values and make sure you're aligned with all of those as you move forward to live within your purpose. So don't hesitate to remove those things. 
look at them as obstacles and getting them out of your way unpacking the backpack and getting rid of those things that you don't need that aren't fueling you that aren't fueling your business that are no longer serving you and prevent are potentially preventing you from serving your clients okay that is it for today we talked all about purpose discovering your purpose using the equation values plus visions plus passions equals purpose we talked about setting goals and how setting goals become solely unique to you and your purpose as you move forward living on purpose and with purpose and then we talked about how when you have clarity around your purpose you have clarity around so many other things within your business and that helps you move forward and compare yourself to others less and you are more focused and have fewer distractions and then also unpacking those things that you no longer need but also unpacking those things that have really helped you become who you are and who have those experiences that have guided you to the purpose that you're on today. The last thing that I want to talk about really quickly is um, the other thing we talked about in the podcast episode was PI, P-I-E. Those are powers, impact, and excitement. So when you're thinking about your purpose and you're doing the exercise with the equation, values, visions, and passions, also think about what are your powers? <clears throat> what are your powers? And those come from your passions too. What are those things that you are so good at and they light you up? How can you make an impact? What are those things that you can do to make an impact? And what are those things that you do that really excite you? So when you're looking at fine-tuning, getting complete clarity around your purpose, look at your powers, look at your passions, values and visions, but look at your powers, look at your impact and look at what excites you and help those guide you as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out for me. This is something that I work with my clients on quite frequently. A lot of times we'll be moving through and people think they know what they're, what direction they're going. They think they know their purpose. They think they have clarity around their niche. And then there are hiccups and obstacles that jump in the way. And sometimes those are um, distractions, but sometimes they are, are led by experiences that are eye-opening. So these are things that we navigate a lot during my coaching calls. And if you're interested in that and how I work with my clients, don't hesitate to reach out. I offer a free complimentary 20 minute mentorship session where we can take a look at what your values, visions, and passions are and really discover. I can help you discover, dive deep into what your purpose is and then help you decide what those next steps are to make sure that you're living with your purpose. All right. I will put the link to that in the comments as well. Have a great day, everybody.